This burn is scheduled to last for three minutes and 48 seconds. The effect of the burn is to uh, reduce the orbital velocity of Columbia by 384 feet per second. Uh, it's sufficient to drop Columbia out of its orbit and begin its uh, nose first dive down into the upper reaches of the Earth's atmosphere. Immediately following the uh, completion of the burn, onboard guidance and navigation will be transitioned to Major Mode 303, which will provide for uh, an immediate maneuver to the entry interface attitude and for the activation of the remaining two auxiliary power units, which will provide uh, complete hydraulic system support for the mechanical systems on board the vehicle. Coming up on the end of the burn, very shortly thereafter, we'll be losing signal with the vehicle as uh, Columbia passes out of the range of our satellite communication system. Satellite about uh, EI minus 23. Okay, Mike. This uh, 40 degree high angle of attack is designed to uh, help induce drag and begin slowing the vehicle down as it enters the atmosphere. As uh, atmospheric density increases on the vehicle, uh, drag also increases, and so does temperature on the uh, orbiter structure. This particular angle of attack is designed to strike a desired balance between uh, the drag requirements and the need to maintain temperature limits on the vehicle. This establishes a constant heating rate within the limits until the orbiter reaches an airspeed of about Mach 19. We're now one minute and 30 seconds away from entry interface. All systems aboard Columbia working very well. Our air-to-ground communications and telemetry have been restored. Columbia tracking high out over the uh, Pacific Ocean, uh, just within range of the Guam tracking station, beginning to approach the Hawaiian Islands. Aerodynamic effects on the vehicle beginning to register in the form of uh, downlink telemetry. Downlink data shows uh, Columbia now 4,370 nautical miles uprange from the Edwards Landing Area. To now 408,000 feet. Velocity Mach 24.4. Systems continuing to perform very well. Current altitude 312,000 feet. Velocity Mach 24.6. Columbia descending at 500 feet per second at a range of 3,600 nautical miles. And the first planned uh, roll of this energy management sequence underway. The uh, orbiter response to a roll command at this uh, high angle of attack is essentially a banking maneuver in the direction of the roll, in this case a left bank. This bank produces uh, several important effects. It uh, increases the drag, which slows the vehicle, while at the same time increases its sink rate. The overall effect is to lessen the tremendous energy behind the orbiter and uh, help bend its course towards the ground. An additional effect of the roll maneuvers is that it causes the orbiter to diverge somewhat from its direct course to the landing site. Uh, once uh, that divergent reaches a given point predetermined, uh, the onboard guidance and navigation commands the vehicle in a roll reversal. In this case, we'll see a right roll that will result in a, uh, uh, a right bank to uh, converge the vehicle back towards a direct course. These series of bank maneuvers will uh, help budget the orbiter's range potential, that is, uh, capability to reach the landing site and set up the desired uh, energy and aerodynamic conditions at uh, the landing area. Columbia now at 249,000 feet, traveling at Mach 24.2. Columbia now completing its first planned roll reversal from left bank to right. 
Columbia now on a 75 degree right bank. Onboard guidance modulating that bank angle now to 57 degrees. Range 570 nautical miles, altitude 178,000 feet, velocity Mach 13.2. Columbia descending at 200 feet per second. The report here in the control room is that the uh, flash evaporator system has been uh, phased out and orbiter cooling is being uh, handled now by uh, flow through the payload bay door radiators. Range 195 nautical miles, altitude 130,000 feet, velocity Mach 6.1. Columbia has uh, reversed its roll now on a 45 degree left bank. Making its uh, coastal crossing just southwest of Santa Barbara at an altitude of 111,000 feet, traveling at Mach 4.6. Range to the landing field, 123 nautical miles, Columbia descending at 285 feet per second. Columbia now visible to long-range trackers at a, as a point of light in the dark sky. Long-range infrared trackers from the landing site at Edwards Air Force Base, uh, tracking orbiter as it streaks across the California sky at an altitude of 93,000 feet, traveling at Mach 3.2. Air data probes uh, on the front underside of Columbia have been deployed. Columbia Houston, take air data. Air data in the form. Yeah, Vance, go ahead and take air data. Thank you. That uh, data provided in the form of atmospheric changes uh, recorded by the air data system and the provides a uh, combination of. Columbia Houston, we'd like a state vector transfer of the BFS, please. It'll work. Air data system uh, provides uh, dynamic pressure, pressure altitude, airspeed, and uh, Mach number along with rate of descent, onboard uh, guidance and navigation, as well as cockpit displays, further refining uh, the onboard navigation and guidance systems. Columbia now at uh, 59 nautical miles, altitude 74,000 feet, descending at 145 feet per second. Columbia now in the terminal area, onboard guidance and navigation uh, transitioning to uh, terminal area energy management. Range now 59 nautical miles, altitude 66,000 feet. Velocity Mach 1.5, Columbia now descending at 323 feet per second. You're looking good approaching the hack. Altimeter is 3007. Surface winds are calm. Roger, copy. 
On board guidance now steering Columbia to waypoint one, uh, the point at which uh, Commander Vance Brand will begin manually uh, flying Columbia down and around the heading alignment cone to set up the desired uh, altitude, airspeed, and bearing for final approach and landing. Range 50, range 26 nautical miles, altitude 46,000 feet. Columbia now flying at subsonic speeds. Announced in the landing area by twin sonic booms. And we're standing by for transition of flight control from automatic to control stick steering. Range 22 nautical miles, altitude 40,000 feet. Columbia descending at 247 feet per second. Telemetry indications are that control stick steering has been activated. Commander Vance Brand and pilot Guy Gardner now manually controlling the vehicle as it uh, reaches for the heading alignment cone. Columbia now banking left, beginning its turn around the heading alignment cone under the manual control of uh, Crew Commander Vance Brandt and Pilot Guy Gardner. Flight Dynamics Officer reports uh, Columbia looks good rolling onto the heading alignment cone. Very shortly, uh, Brandt and Gardner will be incorporating the microwave landing system data into onboard guidance and navigation. That microwave uh, guidance system provided by beacons along the runway will uh, provide uh, highly accurate three-dimensional positioning information. Range 10 nautical miles, altitude 15,000 feet. Columbia descending at 238 feet per second. As Columbia rolls on to final approach, uh, Commander Brand will be watching for the uh, high-intensity light beams from the uh, Pappy, which will serve as glide slope alignment aids as he uh, makes Columbia's way towards uh, runway 22. Columbia Houston, I see you on center line, on glide slope. Roger, copy. Range six nautical miles, altitude 8,000 feet, descending at 120 feet per second. Coming up in a few seconds, uh, Commander Brand will uh, perform the pre-flare maneuver to take some of the steep angle out of the uh, glide slope as Columbia reaches for Edwards Concrete Runway 22. Altitude 4,000 feet, descending at 148 feet per second. Range 2.5 nautical miles. Pre-flare underway. Landing gear coming down. Gear confirmed down and locked. And main gear touchdown. Brand slowly derotating the nose to the surface of runway 22. And nose gear touchdown. All 225,000 pounds of Columbia rolling out smoothly on runway 22.
Houston, wheels are stopped at Edwards. We're home. Roger that, Columbia. Welcome home. Beautiful landing. Outstanding job. Stand by for your post landing deltas. Thank you. Entry landing flight director Wayne Hale pulling the room here for uh, changes to post landing power down procedures. In Columbia, there's no post landing deltas. I'd like to go ahead and press with the post landing procedures. Okay, Mike, uh, we'll get right into that. Houston, we're ready for the ammonia activation. Let's use ammonia A secondary on. Yeah, A secondary on. Okay, thank you, Vance. Let me hear you have a go for extended power up. Roger, go for extended power up. It's really great to be back. We sure appreciate uh, all this fine service here. Boy, there are trucks and lights all over the place. Yes, sir.